Hello, Jess from Sparkle here again with your fourth tutorial video. Now that we've created a couple of scenes and learnt how to add sound, we're going to make some edits to what we've already created and fine-tune our project. Each piece of text or image you've added to the canvas appears separately on the timeline at the bottom of the screen, and from here you can edit how each one behaves individually. You'll remember from tutorial 2 that we have grouped our images into two separate scenes and set a camera position so they appear from the same position. If I quickly preview the first three items, you'll see what I mean. However, in this view, I think the screenshot is a bit small, so if I zoom in a bit and move it to the position I like, then select it on the timeline and click the camera position button, this will now change the way it's drawn. Video Scribe now draws this closer in before zooming back out to finish the scene. You can also amend timings on any of these timeline elements. For example, I would like the create a scene text to be drawn quicker as it's only a few words. To do this, select it on the timeline, pick drawing options from the list, and here I can drop the animate time down to one second. You also have options here for the pause and transition time as well. Pause will be how long the image holds on screen before moving to the next, and transition is the time the camera has to move to the next element drawn from a new position. Click the tick and this will now be drawn in one second instead of three. So far in our scribe we have drawn all our images and text but there are other options available to you. Move in can look really good on certain objects, for example let's make a helicopter fly into our scene. Select the helicopter on the timeline, select drawing options and drop the draw box down to change to move in. This gives you some more options, for example, as we're flying in I'm going to change the direction the image is moved in from so it's coming from the top corner of the canvas. If I preview this, you can see it's being brought in by the hand. For an even more realistic effect, I'm going to remove the hand on this image. Select Drawing Hand on the menu, pick No Hand from the list and confirm. Finally, I'm going to go back to the drawing options and add some rotation to the image. 10 degrees in this case so it's flying down onto the screen. If we preview that change again it looks much better. Another way to bring an item in is to morph it. This can be really effective for animating images in different ways. You can see our instant answer on morphing for more information on this. In this case I'm going to use this to make a police car expand into shot. I'm going to select the car on the timeline, click copy on the top toolbar, then paste. You can now see we have two copies of the car. I'm going to select the drawing options on the first car and reduce the animate, pause and transition times down to zero. This will mean it just appears on the screen. Then I'm going to scale this down so it's small and you cannot see it. If I then select the second car, go to the drawing options of that image and select morph from the top drop down list. I need to then select the image to morph from, in this case, the previous copy of the car. This is going to cause the full size car to morph from the small one to the bigger one, expanding the image. You can also change the order things appear on your projects, and this is just a simple click and hold on a timeline element and then drag and drop. For example, at the moment my create a scene text isn't removed until the end. However, if I select the scribble out white box and drag this so it's directly after the create a scene text, this will then be written and removed straight away. Also, we covered the no hand option on move in earlier, but there are lots of hand options available in Video Scribe. If I pick the drawing hand option on this scribble, then I can go into any of the hand profiles on the left and see the different options. Each hand profile has an eraser in it, as we are rubbing this out and I'm going to use this for the image. There are a couple of scribe-wide settings you can amend as well if you do not want to do things element by element. These are on the top toolbar, and here you can set a default hand for your whole scribe. Anything you set on a timeline element will override this, but it does allow you to set a default hand of your choice for the rest. I'm just going to exit out of this with the X button as I'm happy with the defaults I have. You can also change the canvas background as well with the paintbrush icon. You have a number of textures you can choose from, and you can also change the colour of the canvas. Again, I'm happy with a plain white background for this project, however you can try different options to see which suits your project best. 
So now let's preview our scribe back and see all those changes we've made in action and see the difference they've made to the finished product. So if you remember, we zoomed in a bit on the screenshot We sped up the writing of create a scene and then changed the order so it's removed straight away using an eraser rather than the default hand. The car is now expanding into view using morph and finally the helicopter flies into the scene at the end. So you can see a few tweaks and changes can really bring your scribe to life. In tutorial 5 we're going to publish our work to a video file and also social media.